So, the day begins with me heading to school, I was preparing my bag and stuff, yeah, whatever. And then I walk outside the door. Right after that, I wear my socks and stuff, go inside the car, and after that, I ride a few moments, looked at the amazing morning sun and stuff like that, and find some cars and traffic, and then after that, I finally arrive in school. I walked up to the stairs to my classroom, saw my classroom door, and then I went inside, and when I want to go outside, I saw this. <sighs> Bro, what the hell are you doing, dude? And so when I come home, I knew something had to be done. So let's build something. You that was in my home. My state of Ladies and gentlemen, so hard to find. we got him. So now these are the components. This is just basically a rundown of everything we need to make this project. And if it fails, then we're gonna use a new set of components. So these are the components for now. Now we have an Arduino, which is basically the motherboard or basically the entire brain of the entire system. Then we're gonna have a motor driver, which is going to drive the DC motor, which is actually the next item. And after that, we have the fingerprint sensor, which is basically going to let us use our fingerprint. And that's basically it. It's really simple and there's a little bit of components, but I don't think we need a breadboard, but if we need a breadboard, then we're gonna add a breadboard. But yeah, we're gonna make it as small as possible and let's see how it's gonna go. So now, we're gonna come up with a plan. So the first plan on to making the thing is that I actually already got a template over here. So yeah, this... We just need to connect this to a fingerprint and see if it works and then change the code a little bit and uh, if this works then the system is basically done because I already built a uh, offline uh, like basically off camera building so yeah let's see if this thing could hold the fingerprint so let's go and build it
yeah finally we're done this is i think the finished product i mean like there's still some tweaking but i'm gonna fix that later in the next video maybe like i'll do a part two of this but this is just a concept and yeah it's just for fun so whatever and yeah we're finally done Um, what do you think of the robot? Oh, it's good, but it's just like kind of unreliable, but but the idea is smart. It's like really really good All right So yeah, I guess that's the entire video hope you guys learned something from that video or you could use it for like another school project of yours or something like that. I don't really know, but if you have any other questions like why the motor, you could like bend the motor if it's, you know, a padlock. You're not supposed to like bend the servo like this. You're like, you can bend it, but if it's on, you couldn't bend it. So the thing is just, just plug the battery full time if you really want to use that as your padlock. But I didn't because I'm not crazy like that. And it still needs some improvement, especially when it's made out of popsicle sticks. And before that, it was a metal casing. I kind of canceled the idea because like it was very hard to work with, and I don't have like a plasma cutter, so I couldn't like cut it open and stuff like that. So I changed. Anyways, that's basically the entire video, and see you next time. So bye bye.